It's Ben from Parker Bates and welcome back to another fishing video. I want to keep this one short, snappy and I bring on our journey. We're down a lake that I don't think we're going to be able to fish for much longer to be honest. I'm down here with Corey and T. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Look at that for an intro baby. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to bring my journey. Just before I start this video guys, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll see you very soon. Peace out. Wow, this is definitely an option. First peg, and I saw them over here last time on the drone, right up in the snags. So I could come here and fish a rod left and fish a rod out there. So I'm sort of far away from each other. I could try that, definitely. Oh no. I didn't even know pop ups or nothing. Are you wrong, Sam? Right, wow. I'm kind of there now, I've sort of slowly got a rod together, um, stupidly, because uh, it was all a mad rush this morning and we were on the road, I don't know, um, it was up about five o'clock and we left about six-ish, but anyway, this is what's left over from my last trip, I'm running um, some lead core here, um, I'm literally, I'm going to fish it with the pole, so I'm, I'm fishing a five ounce lead, but I'm literally, I'm going to take that rubber right back now and just push it on. So the second the fish picks it up, that lead ejects and I'm in complete contact. And the reason for that is as well, I'm also fishing near snags to my left. So it's imperative that that lead comes off, fish comes to the top and I can deal with it. I'm fishing a 12 inch sort of boom material there. It's a fluorocarbon material. This is 20 pound. It's quite a soft material. I'm also fishing a tungsten loaded um, kicker end there if you like to make sure that happens normally on a cast but obviously I said I'm going to be dropping this with a pole I've got the tiniest little bit of foam on the end there tiniest little bit of foam with a little uh, with about 20 maggots and T's kindly give me some of his um, fruit and nut pop-ups in white so I've trimmed one down and that's what I've come up with it's on a D rig it's on a size 8 funnily enough it's actually on a ridge monkey hook it's a wide gate ridge monkey hook so yeah it's going to be interesting that's a plan of action. I'm going to get a little sprinkle of maggots in there. I'm going to push it, drop it up against the snags. One drop. The foam should also, when I know I get that drop, I know because of that tiny little bit of foam on it, it's going to float up, it's going to break down and hopefully drop on top of that weed so I know I'm presentated. So that's a plan of action. I'm going to take you down there with me and show you in a second. Happy days. All right, I'm going to make this quick. That's why we set up up there. So we don't make as much noise. But I've literally put a handful of maggots in and a massive, massive squirt of the sauce there. So, loads of liquid food. And obviously the maggots obviously got on the hook, go out the park of beta. Just like a few sections, hopefully that should be enough. Right, let's get this bad boy out. <laughs> minute there was a twig coming out and the line was just about to go over the twig and I dropped it just in time and the lead obviously pulled it down just before it going over the twig so I'm basically on my limit um, I'm fishing locked up the second I hit into it I'm gonna obviously pull it round so that's a plan of action he's about to get his rod out and um, we'll see what he's gonna do come on the carp and come on the Parker Bates <laughs> 
plan of action. What are you doing? I'm just going to chuck out a little artificial double corn. Yeah. Okay. I imagine this sort of place must have a lot of corn coming in. Yeah. Just assuming. Yeah. Give that a whirl. Where you reckon? I'm going to go probably to the point. Just out there. So you're going out to the point. Yeah. All right. Well, you've got one cast at this, mate. No pressure. <laughs> and um, don't kill the swim because everything's going so well. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Can the man who can get it on the money? He's going to hate me from being behind him with the camera, but he normally makes it happen. You're going to have to be so careful, mate. I'd move over more to your right. Oh, is that your plan? Yeah, that's a good idea. Nice. Nice. Fair play, mate. Get a donk. Nice. See all the fizzing coming up. <laughs> Loads of it. Wow. T's rods out. My rods out. Can't really do much more of that now. T's getting his line laid bob on. Again, T will obviously fish locked up as well. Just so you guys know. I mean, when you're when you're fishing in these little intimate corners, you just you just have to. I mean, we're going to be sat by our rods, so we're going to be ready for it. But yeah, can't really do much more. We don't want to smash the swim to bits. And you know, if there's someone fishing the other end, there's a good chance that the fish were here. We were fishing the other end last time. The fish were here. Now, let's see whether we can catch some this time. Come on. Plan of action, mate. OG fish. What's that? Fourteens, eighteens. Some fourteens in there. Just going to scatter about ten baits around them. Yeah, nice. Nice. Is your phone popped up, mate? Yeah, Phone's popped up like a tree, and you can also use that as a sighter now. It's absolutely flat, calm out there. So directly where that foam is, which is just about there, the camera's not going to pick it up. Yeah, not for sure. Yeah, not far off, mate. Yeah, nice. Nice. That's the money, money, money. <whistles> Lovely jubbly, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate, they're bob on, aren't they? They are bob on, <laughs> <laughs> if we get a run, it's going to be interesting, to say the least, because that is one hell of a mission down that slope. But now, like you said, we're going to go down there in a second. I'm going to get my chair, put it down the down there by the rods. Sit on their rods, wait for it to crank round. Hopefully, <laughs> nevertheless, we're fishing. Look at that sun, mate, up there. Done that look nice. Trust Mr. Thirty to get the first beep. He's down there now, just sitting by his rods, but that's a very, very, very good sign. There's nothing out there, no coots, no nothing. Bitterly cold. Looks like I'm smoking. Behind the camera, it's, um, yeah. <laughs> she bitter. But yeah, good sign, good sign. Right, well, next up is a couple of things. Now, I was sat there at the computer the other day and I couldn't quite believe it when I looked at the analytics of the channel and 70%, 70% of people that watch our channel, the Parker Brothers YouTube channel, 70% of you are not subscribed. So on that note, guys, I'd massively appreciate it. It doesn't cost anything to, to subscribe. Um, so just click that subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Um, so it helps us grow our channel as a, as a whole and basically give us access to more people to show more people what we're doing as Parker Bates as Parker Brothers so yeah that that's that next up as well we are nearly at 10,000 followers on our Instagram there's a dog behind us look at that <laughs> that was the OG fish oh that was um exciting to say this <laughs> when we hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, we're gonna get some big giveaways, um, oh, oh, for sure, for sure. So again, if you're on Instagram and you wanna join the Parker Bates Wave and on a daily basis, we also talk about what we do in the factory as well, the reasons why we do it, the thought process behind the bait, the ingredients, and um, you can see that 
on there on a daily basis. So I'm going to leave it at that guys, but definitely a food for thought. And if you do get five minutes, I'd massively appreciate that. But in a second, um, I thought about this when, when T was down there earlier, but I think it'd be quite nice to touch on a couple of the trips that we've got booked in this year, where we're going, what we're doing to give you a little bit of a taste in your mouth of what we've got to come. <laughs> My God, have we got some trips booked in. So mate, I just said um, on the video, trips booked in this year. So even from mine and your perspectives, what have we got booked in coming up? Oh, mate, we've got a few nice ones booked in. Some absolute bangs. The best one coming up, mate, Euro Aqua. Oh. <laughs> Euro Aqua, we've got oh. T's first time abroad. Yeah. Never fished abroad, have you, mate? Yeah, I've spoiled myself a bit. <laughs> And we are going to Euro Aqua. I cannot wait. Uh, me and T, um, we've done a lot of trips together in the UK, um, learned a lot over the years, and we've been fishing together for, well, it must be, what, over 10 years now? Yeah, mate, it's yes. been a while. It's it? a long time. So this is our moment, if you like, and there's a lot, lot, on, the, lot on the line, if you like. All, the, all of our mates are sort of saying, oh, no, you make sure you catch something. <laughs> you make sure you catch something. So we're sort of going over with that, but we're going over confident, and we are going to bring some Parker Bates over with us and uh, hopefully smash it to bits. We've got Sandhurst next week. Yep, Sandus. Sandus next week, and as you know, if you do watch the channel, I touched on that a few weeks back, and I put some pictures up on the screen of when T went up there. You had a you had a pretty good session, mate, didn't you? Yeah, mate, I had a brace of thirties, had a right touch, mate. <laughs> typical <laughs> baggers. As typical well. <laughs> Mister Thirty rocks up at a lake. Didn't you get there really quick as well? What was it? You, didn't you move peg and add one of them? For... Yeah, mate, move peg. It's stupid o'clock at night. It's worth a while, though, mate. I had one, so I can't <laughs> grumble with that. A nice one as well. She's nice. As if, as if. But we have got B2 coming up. We've got a Parker Bates social on there, and we booked half a B2, haven't we? Yeah, mate, that'd be a nice. Have one. a little bit of a competition. Um, so that would be that would be quite funny. That will be coming to the channel as well. We've also got um, the B1 trip in August. Um, there will be places available on that for the general public. That will be something that we'll put on our website, and I'm sure it will sell out very very quickly. Um, I'll put it up on our Instagram, on our Facebooks when that does go live. But please, the second you see that, go over, book on, how many pegs is it? 40 pegs, isn't it? Or something yeah, from B yeah. B1. And already a percentage of them has been taken up by ambassadors and a few other people as well. So there's already a percentage gone, so you're going to have to be quick with that. So we've got the B1, um, the public sort of Parker bait social, so anybody can get involved. Anybody who buys our bait or maybe just watches the channel can get involved, come down, maybe fish you know get involved with a competition uh see the ambassadors you know just just get involved it'll be a good laugh so that's that b1 what else mate uh i think we've got the i said we've got the b2 one st john's on the uh, since <laughs> so yeah there you go t's just brung one up there st john's now that that is a very 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 close one to, so i've been over the last sort of four years i've been watching um watching St John's to say the least and there's a ghost in there I'd really love to get my hands on yes, really love to get my hands on and it comes from this particularly particular bit of water and it seems to come out at the same time every year Sorry. within about two sure weeks <laughs> Siri's not sure about that but I am sure about that I can assure you there is this ghosty <laughs> is unbelievable absolutely unbelievable and it may be the first time it might do 50 pound I think come out 49 pound in it or something yeah, last year year right before it. that I think it was 47 year before that it was sort of, yeah so on so on so on so it's slowly building up its way and we are in we've booked this we booked this two years ago me and Rob um, but T's coming on that there's a few other people coming on and me and Rob are in these pegs and I cannot wait um, that's a big 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 one big one for me really big one for me and I'd love to get my hands on that ghosty so that's that um, I've also got Euroacra again in November believe it or not T I don't <laughs> think it's coming to me on that one um, I think Leader Caravan Carper is with me on that particular session um, but again that will be coming to the channel as well so they will be coming very very soon and i'm sure we've got some you know you've got the potential of euro aqua catching a hundred pounder we're at sandhurst next week it'd be lovely to catch the armadillo to kick the oh, year off wouldn't it that'd be lovely um catch that that'd be nice you know bb1 we've got some trip b2 can always throw out some bangers so yeah to say the least i have got a busy busy t as well got a busy 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 um year ahead a massive massive one for me in June I'm going with Emma so Emma my mum my dad my brother 
um, for my 30th birthday got me um, a trip to Thailand to fish Gillingham's I think that's how you say it um, but yeah I cannot wait there's Arapaima I think it was over 500 pound or something carp to over a hundred pound obviously they're a different strain of carp slightly different looking to the ones we're used to over here but yeah I'm really 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 looking forward to that I cannot wait and that's coming up this year and will be videoed and will go on the channel as well but we're going to give it a little bit longer in this swim over there and I think we're going to go around and sort of see what Corey's doing over there so I know I said to you we're going to give it give it a little bit and we're going to go around well I think we're going to well, I'd like to think I'd give it at least another hour here now after watch this happen. So Corey's got a mate the other side of the lake, I think. He's got a drone taking it out. You've seen a load of fish the other side. Didn't I don't think they saw anything down our end anyway. Corey's then um, cast where they've seen him. And uh, as his leads hit the deck, it spooked the fish down this end of the lake, right in the middle of where me and Tia are fishing. I said, <laughs> No brainer. I said that's fish on top. It's obviously spooked them where the leads hit further up the lake. With that, we've stayed. We've watched for another five minutes, and then directly over my spot, a massive vortex has just come out. So I'm there, I'm there making noises and stuff as quiet as I can, not jumping up and down, but nearly. And <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at now, basically. So I've just come up to get this video, but it's exciting stuff down there. But I'm just going to sit on my hands now and just hope for the best. Well, there's a train. <laughs> Looks mad going behind there. Mental. See it all. It's definitely see it all there. So carefully going down here, you don't break your legs. What are you done, T? Got a subway. <laughs> <laughs> we have got a subway on the way, me, Corey and T, and we went for a foot long. <laughs> the subway has arrived, baby. <laughs> Look at this, we've moved into a upgraded swim, we've got a whole built bloody bit in here now. Look at this, looks lovely. But yeah. Well, Cool yeah, that's it, you know, mate. <laughs> I've literally flicked the rod out, I've come straight in and see them reeds twitching behind, so I've put a rod straight on it, left it down. And I'll probably have some uh, my munch in a minute and I'll show you that when we eat it. But yeah, happy days. <sighs> Look at that, mate. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. Thank you very much. <laughs> You've got to have this cookie. <laughs> Right, well, there it is. I've just played about of a zig. I'm not going to lie, we smashed our subway. Thoroughly enjoyed that. But I made about a five foot zig, a little bit of black foam, normal sort of setup, and I'm fishing it just off here because I keep seeing like a, like a swell, a tail pattern, or something, a vortex. And it keeps happening just down here. So, and that's been, again, been happening since I've been here. So I thought, no brainer, pull it off the spot. That's two, three four times it's probably happened now I don't know something like that but I've then put a, put a rod on it immediately and just well, yeah, hoping for the best but there it is it's locked in down here look <laughs> but hopefully it hoops around and we're into something but Corey's next to me over here I'm gonna peg in the middle now she's got like 0 0.1 0 0.2 and sort of point three. if you like it's the best way of putting it across There's a couple of lads over there Got Corey here. Obviously, we were over there, and then me and T have moved. I've got my, I've got one rod out. Corey's got two. T's waiting to see if he sees anything, and he'll put a, put a bait on its head. But that's what we're doing. That's where we're at. So why didn't you catch? Because I'm a dosser. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Last knockings. It's not ideal. Bed chairs away. Oh, mate. Come on, carp. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> Done that before, mate, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> that is it, I'm afraid, and unfortunately, we haven't had anything this session. Another blank. 
Um, hopefully that change is going into this week. I've got Sandhurst, Sandhurst coming up. It's three nights. I think on there Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. Come home on the Sunday, and um, that is next week. So I'm absolutely buzzing for that. And the factory beginning of the week, busy week. Um, also, just a reminder, if you weren't aware already, I've been saying this in previous videos. We are heading to the Big One Show. So if you are at the Big One Show, definitely, definitely come over and check out the Parker Beige products. At, at the stand on the day so I'm going to leave it at that sun's coming down lovely about an hour drive home for us now give or take Corey's not in he's just doing his rod behind us <laughs> it's a lovely sound you know like I said that's the that's this week's video if you liked it give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and I'll see you all very soon peace out <laughs>